<laughs> we opened it. What's up guys, Jake here. Today we're in an abandoned building and we're gonna be breaking into a safe that's been sealed for over a hundred years. So for most safes, if you have the right combination, you can spin this little dial and open up the safe door to see what's inside. But in this case, this door is completely corroded. And even if we had the combination, we couldn't open the door. But that's why we have our buddy Tyler that we're gonna team up with to break into this safe. All right, so we're all excited to get inside the safe and see what's inside. But these are all the tools we're using. And we also teamed up with Jackery. They're sponsoring this video. They're a portable power station. And we're challenging ourselves to use all these tools and lights through their device to break into this safe. So I'm excited to get in there. I'll tell you a little bit more about Jackery later in the video. Yeah. What do I want it to be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be gold, like yeah. bricks of gold. Jewelry, stacks of money. I brought a laundry bag so we could put all the money and stuff inside of it. So what happens if there is gold? We'll have to take out Tyler yeah. and get out of here quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, and, then, and then we'll have to split it. Inside this door, Tristan, is our retirement plan. There is $50 million of gold bars. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Really, we have no idea, though. There no, could be. Hey, where's my safety glasses? I don't know, did you even buy one? No. No? I just I drove, I drove here for this video. I thought you were gonna supply it. I told it. you we're kinda breaking into a bank. You told me to show up for the video, ready, and I would have all the gear. That's what you said. I didn't say that. <laughs> Let's knock uh, something down. <laughs> you want me to go the same one? No. All right, it's in there. Now what? Tyler! <laughs> <laughs> We got our first brick. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> One brick down. <laughs> One brick down. 927 more to go. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. So obviously the chisels and sledgehammer weren't the way to go about this. If we did that, it'd take us weeks to break into this thing. But my friend Tyler brought all his power tools and my friends at Jackery sent me this giant portable power station. I'm gonna go ahead and plug his power tool in and now we're rolling, man. Go for it, bud. So we're getting very close to opening up the safe behind me, but before we continue, I gotta thank today's sponsor, Jackery, for supplying us all these portable power stations, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys why I think you should invest in one. So with Jackery's portable power station, you can charge the device before a trip in your house or even on the go with their portable solar panels. It's called the Solar Sega 100. Check this out. And just like that, I'm getting a charge directly from the sun. So anywhere you see sun, you can charge a device and be ready to go. So I just got an email from Jackery and they stated it was founded by a formal Apple battery engineer in 2012. Jackery launched the world's first lithium portable power station in 2015, which gained enormous attention and a popularity amongst outdoor activity lovers. In 2018, Jackery released Sega 60 Watt, its first solar panel to fully utilize solar energy to power its power station. So with Jackery's portable power station, there's so many devices that you can charge. Here's a few for example. You can charge your cell phone. Just like that, you're getting a charge. I don't know, you might need to blow dry your hair, right? So I gotta blow dry. It works. <laughs> If you're camping and you want to make a smoothie, you can also plug in your blender. Or you can use Jackery's portable power station to inflate a giant inflatable kayak. So all in all, Jackery's portable power station is pretty amazing and you can pretty much charge anything or use anything on the go. I'd highly recommend it. Thank you so much, Jackery, for sponsoring this adventure. With your help, I'm able to power all the tools I need to get into this safe and hopefully strike it rich. If you're interested in checking out their products, I'll have a link in the description below. Make sure you guys check them out. But with that said, let's get back at it and hopefully get into this thing. So it is 10.33. We got here at 7.30. Jake said it was going to be an easy night, maybe an hour, breaking into this safe. <laughs> but <laughs> we've gone through multiple tools. We started out with the little chisel and the small sledgehammer. Went to the big sledgehammer, got a little bit of a workout in, and now we're using the big power tool. So we're slowly chipping away at this safe, and I'm, I'm worried because this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So you're five layers right now. So it's so this one's gonna be, the outside layer's all gonna be that straight line, and then all the inside ones will be staggered. So one will be like this, one will be like that, this, that, and it's just gonna be different ways. It is. 
There it is. There it is. No. Oh. Dude, that's the opening. I can't really see inside. We should open it up a little bit more. So we've been working on trying to open up this abandoned safe for over six hours and we just breached the entrance and we're going to climb inside to see what's inside. It's pretty exciting, so let's go ahead and climb myself in. Come on. <laughs> no way. No way. No. I'm the first person that's been in this vault for over a hundred years probably. Holy crap. I'm the second person been in this vault over a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Cool. What is that? Check this out. Water. Water? Water? I guess. There is roots growing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. How? I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> well, we got something. We're not leaving it to The certification must be publicly displayed as provided by law. That is a murder document. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the actual door say? Jump. Come in here. Jump. Get in here. Jump. <laughs> I promise you. You don't have to get in Come on in. Have you ever been in a hundred year old safe? I'm the fourth person. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a secret brick? Yeah. No. <laughs> There's gotta be something. Check everything. This is so sad. We spent so long and this is what's inside the safe. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming down. You're a good uh, friend. Probably one of my best friends. Uh, I don't think I want to be called that anymore. No? Nope. Um, thank you so much for driving all the way yep. down here and helping me today. You won't see me again. again. <laughs> yeah. We could have struck it rich. We could have found millions. Could have. I, I tried to include you I feel you like in that's that. how you always start the adventures. There's but a waterfall. Today, a secret waterfall <laughs> with so many gopos and fawns. You know. And then we get there and it's closed and we get almost arrested. There's, there's been a lot of times that treasure hunts have failed, Tristan. But this one had chances, dude. We could have found millions of dollars worth of gold and cash in there. I brought a laundry bag so we can bring it all home. Listen, I'm gonna break into this safe. Yeah. It's the last time. Hey. I don't know how we're gonna get in here, <laughs> but I am. We're in there. No, not. There's a hole right there, Tristan. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm so sorry there was nothing inside. It was still a <laughs> But if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Follow us all on our adventures. And thank you so much, Jackery, for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out their stuff. I'll have a link in the description below. Oh! <laughs> thank you, Tristan, for helping. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh.